for those of you just here, we're just talking about uh, the reason I wanted to try the bean and triticale mix. Um, and I basically, I, I worked for a year on a organic dairy and arable farm where they um, grew triticale and they grew beans, um, harvested them separately and then milled them together for their concentrate feed. Um, and so for my dissertation at uni, I thought, well, can they be grown together? Is there any yield benefit? Um, so I did a small experiment um, where I had uh, a treatment of 25% uh, triticale, 75% bean, 50-50, 75-25, and uh, additive treatment of 75% um, bean, 75% triticale. And that, uh, those percentages are of the percent of the um, sole crop seed rate. Um, so from that, uh, from the handout, um, there did seem to be a quite a big weed difference between the, the plots um, and it's just a very basic picture but the patch that the experiment was on was in quite a high, um, there was quite a lot of cooch in it so that was just riddled throughout all the plots but because of the competitive nature of the triticale, um, that did seem to reduce the um, weed dry matter in all of the um, intercrop treatments. And uh, from the graph, you can see that the beans was just it was just swamped, swamped with weeds. It, it was a bit ridiculous. Um, but in terms of the other stuff, um, we're talking earlier about the land equivalent ratio the potential yield benefit um, that really did work we saw there wasn't really a, um, all of the intercrops showed that in potential increase in yield um, but we found that uh, the 25 percent triticale 75 percent bean um, did the best with a 27 percent uh, potential yield advantage over the sole crops um, and also found that the total grain protein per plot um, also significantly increased over the, um, the sole crops. Um, so that was one year just with spring, uh, spring cropping, but one because it was in quite a variable patch um, where there was a heck of a lot of weeds. We didn't know how much that had altered the results. So we wanted to try the experiment again with more repetitions. Um, so this year we put in a another um, bean triticale mix, um, but we did two experiments side by side, one a um, autumn sown and one a spring sown experiment. Um, and uh, we're waiting to see the what happens with that, um, whether we'll get similar results to what we've got before, um, and also just looking at the differences between the spring and the winter, seeing how they grow. Um, from what we've seen so far, the winter experiment um, has done really well, it came up flying up, um, established well over the winter, um, filled out. The spring sown one um, was very patchy coming up. It seemed to take a long time for everything to germinate and to fill out. It seems to have sort of put its foot on the accelerator and shot up now, um, but there's obviously quite a difference between the spring and the winter. So once that goes through the combine, it'll be interesting to see what the yield results are from that. Um, in terms of just observations this year, uh, we have found again that the pure oat, uh, pure beans are much weedier than the intercrops. Um, uh, and just at a glance, you can look down, you see um, all sorts coming up in the beans, and there is clear ground in the um, intercrop. And they've only they had. Uh, let me um, they did have a pre-emergence and some sulphur put on early on, but uh, apart from that, they've just been left. Oh, and some fungicide. Sorry. Um, so for a pre-emergence, they just had Defy and Stomp. 
um, and then they had uh, 35 kilos per hectare of uh, SO3 put on um, and then some folly cure and amistar on the 29th in the uh, winter and some amistar on the 3rd in May because there, there seemed to be quite a lot of yellow rust about on the triticale this year um, so yeah that's what that's had mm. and uh, we're waiting to see what happens so I'll just come in with a couple of... yeah sorry mm. a couple of things the reason why we chosen oats instead of wheat or triticale with these beans because oats are still a break crop so this will go into wheat next year and we've got no risk of take or carryover etc so that's why we've done oats <coughs> and they are competitive mm. <coughs> and the second thing for the next you talk about the winter ones. Mm. For me, I don't, I don't know if it's PGR, I've done anything with winter beans, but it's quite tempting to just plant some winter oats with the winter beans and see what happens, have it as a companion crop, and if it looks all right in the in the spring, keep it going. Um, <clears throat> winter beans are always really open most of the winter, no protection for the soil, and with our drill we can plant them both together. Um, so I'm tempted to try and just put a few Mascani winter oats with the winter beans. If it all starts going wrong, a bit of fusillade or whatever, and you know, we've still got a winter bean crop. Um, <clears throat> but we'll see. That's for, that's for next year, mm. or this year now, I suppose, next season. But that's 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 why I um just that's why I'm doing oats. And for me, triticale, I've been roguing it this year, so I don't want to grow it again. <laughs> <coughs> roguing out the wheat. And did you actually seen any nitrogen like the following crop, the following year, with doing as you got yeah, any uh, any difference in nitrogen yeah, the following? The following year, have you seen an uplift in the following crops? Uh, we haven't done enough, and not well, the bit I did of this before. You couldn't see any, in, couldn't see any difference. Just had the increase in yield <coughs> in the following crop. No, in in the in the in the in the mixture. You know, right. yeah, LER of one point one five, what it was. So. Yeah. Does everyone know what LER is? Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to explain that, David? What is it? <laughs> yeah. Or Andy. Well, it's basically, you take every crop, a monocrop will have a LER of one. So that if that oat has yields six tonne of oats, that's that's equivalent to LER of one. And if the beans does five tonne, that's a bean, a bean has a LER of one. If the mixture is... 60% of an oat, oat yield and 60% of a bean yield, you add them together and that's 1.2. So even though you've got less of each, overall you've got one, so you're using the land more efficiently. If that makes... I think I said that right? Yep. There, there is a formula to do it, but that's the basic... <laughs> yeah, um, that's the logical way of that's explaining logical it. Here. If you go to page three, um, you can see the on the LER 